I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. The squirrel is delaying our little acceleration test. Hi, this is Peter Barba from Lectrium. And today we're continuing our EV review series uh, for Lectrium. You can go to lectrium.com slash listings and see available electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids for sale from dealerships near you. And today, I'm excited to review the 2023 Car and Driver EV of the Year, the Hyundai Ioniq 6. I love the Ioniq 6. I've been driving it for a few days. It's a sporty sedan built on the same platform as the Ioniq, Ioniq 5. It has the same wheelbase, the same battery architecture, uh, some similar engineering. But instead of an SUV, which the Ioniq 5 is, the Ioniq 6 is a sedan. And this car reminds me of the artist Invader, the famous street artist who did a lot of pixel art, starting in Paris and did stuff all over the world. Uh, and we'll get to that in just a second. But before we do, I want to talk about the Ioniq 6 trim levels. This car has four trim levels. This is the SEL. And there's a lot of differences between these trims. The base trim has only about 240 miles of range, but the highest range trim has about 360 miles. Uh, this one has about 305, 310, and it's a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. The Ionic 6 battery has an 800 volt architecture, which is one of the best in the game right now, and allows for extremely fast DC fast current charging. Uh, we're gonna take this and do a 10% range test with it soon, probably tomorrow or the day after on a road trip. Uh, but that 800 volt battery architecture is going to be the norm in the EV industry eventually. That's ahead of many competitors. For example, Teslas don't even have 800 volt battery architecture. They have 400 volt or less. And uh, you know we're seeing the Tesla uh, V4 superchargers coming out at 350 kilowatts, which would allow to you know fast charge uh, 800 volt batteries. Uh, the Cyanix 6, it you know hypothetically could go from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes on a 350 kilowatt charger. And we'll definitely get that video for you and uh, test that ourselves. But let's talk a little bit between the Tesla, the Tesla Model 3 versus the Hyundai Ioniq 6. You know, these cars are a similar size. They're a similar price range. And, you know, a lot of people may be considering a Tesla Model 3 versus an Ioniq 6. And, you know, you can make a case for both cars. So at the end of the day, just go with whatever you please. But I'll make the case for the Ioniq 6 real quick. It has a more luxurious interior. In Tesla, including buttons, stocks. Uh, you know, I, I actually prefer the leather and seats in the Ioniq 6 by a lot. It has a more unique design, uh, kind of fulfilling Hyundai's Prophecy. That's a concept car they developed back in 2019. I love the Prophecy concept car. And, you know, the Ioniq 6 battery architecture of 800 volts is a big plus in my book as I'm making road trips from New York to DC to Florida, and I, you know, only want to wait 18 minutes to charge up my car and not, you know, 36. If you like vintage video games, you're gonna love the Hyundai Ioniq 6. And that's because of the, of the pixels. If you know, you know, the game Space Invaders, very pixelated 1980s uh, video game, you know it's very pixelated. And the Hyundai Ioniq 6 and Hyundai in general are reinventing themselves with pixels as a key finish for all of their new EVs. Let's take a quick look at some of the pixels. In the headlights, you can see pixels. Down here where the cameras are, you can see six pixels. Uh, throughout the entire car, we're gonna notice this theme of pixels. And before I show even more, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite pixel artists, Invader. Invader is a Parisian artist, a street artist, uh, who I think is anonymous. No one actually knows exactly who he is. And he makes pixelated uh, characters and QR codes on the streets in Paris and around the world. If you see any Invader Pixel art, send it to me, I'm a fan. And uh, let's keep looking at the Hyundai Ioniq 6's interpretation of pixels. Here on the side mirrors, you can see pixels right here. These light up as turn signals when you're turning. You'll also see on the back, what do you know? Many more pixels. Again, on the turn signals on the left and right rear. Also, this entire uh, light, fr 
frame or light bridge, whatever you want to call it, is pixelated. And one of my favorite features is this little wing of the iatic 6, which makes me think about Porsche. And it is just covered in slightly translucent pixels. Speaking of translucence, uh, the antenna on this car is a little bit of a shark antenna. Uh, it is fully clear. And I think there are some pixels in there, but uh, just having a clear antenna is cool so you can see a bit of the mechanics of the vehicle. Now, if you'll step in here real quick with me, uh, I'll, I'll step in the car. You'll see that even this uh, part of the steering wheel right here, are you able to see that? It doesn't have the Hyundai logo or an Ionic 6 logo. It actually just has four pixels and this changes as you go into different drive modes. So this is normal. In sport, it turns red. I love sport mode. Put that thing in sport, motor sport. Put that thing in sport. Um, in eco mode, which isn't as fun to drive, it saves you know electricity, it flashes green. And something I also love about this car is the, uh, the screen in front of you when you're driving, it shows exactly what you're thinking in each mode. So in eco mode, it's showing how efficient the car is on a miles per kilowatt hour basis. Um, same thing in normal mode, but in sport mode, it actually shows torque, uh, which we'll get into when we're actually driving the car here in a little bit. Um, pixels, 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 where else are there pixels? Uh, I'm probably missing a few things. I think the door panel is a bit pixelated here. And uh, there's a bit more here in the interior of the car, which we'll look at when we actually are able to sit in it. But uh, yeah, Invader, Pixels, Hyundai reinventing itself, the prophecy being fulfilled. The Ionic 6 has a tiny, tiny frunk, but it does have a frunk, which is better than gas cars. Um, you know, they put the owner's manual in here and it fits relatively well. Maybe you can put some textbooks or, uh, you know, some berries if you're going camping. Uh, maybe a water bottle or two lying horizontally, but uh, not much else. So you can't really fit, you know, uh, a backpack in here or, you know, you're not really going to fill this full of candy uh, when your kids are trick-or-treating on Halloween. Happy October. But um, it does have a frunk, it counts in my book. Uh, and then it has some electronics, which are actually exposed. You can kind of see everything, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not as aesthetically pleasing. And let's take a look at the trunk. I just realized on the trunk, if you come take a look really closely, sorry to make you walk over here. What do you see on the button to open the trunk? Pixels. If you can see it. It's got a really spacious trunk. Um, you know, you can fit golf clubs in here. You can fit suitcases, uh, you know, all of your groceries. It's really quite a spacious car, and that's because it's built on the Ionic 5 uh, wheelbase and, and uh, battery. So, you know, you're not going to run out of room here in the trunk, even though the vehicle itself isn't the biggest on the inside. Um, also, I just remembered, if you come look at the charging port, it has a handy-dandy button to open it as well, which is none other than pixelated. You can see that right there. embarrassing. <laughs> Eco, normal, see it here as well, to sport. One more time, eco, to normal, to sport. And I have to say, you really do feel the difference when driving. It's pretty remarkable. Um, I'll quickly do a little acceleration uh, for fun because my partner in crime did not get to witness it last time. So let's just take a look here. We have an open parking lot. We're sitting here at zero miles per hour. Get ready, actually. So be careful, don't let this hit you in the face. It actually accelerates pretty quickly. <laughs> are, you, are you ready? 
Uh oh, there's a squirrel. I'm gonna wait for the squirrel to, to go by. <laughs> that little guy has no idea what's coming. Come on, buddy, move, move, move. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. The squirrel is delaying our little acceleration test. The anticipation is building. Maybe if I honk at it? Nope. The squirrels don't respond to traditional street signals. It's okay. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care what all of you YouTube subscribers are goading me to do. I'm not gonna accelerate at the squirrel. So don't even think about that. That's just cruel. Okay, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving, and we're good. Ready? Hold on tight to the camera. I don't want that hitting you. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> really fun. The pickup does not get old in the EVs. I love that every single time. Just a zero, little zero to 30, and it, you know, leaves my stomach back there. Super, super fun. And Ionic 6, I'm a fan. This is Peter Barba, co-founder of Lectrium. Like and subscribe to Lectrium for more EV reviews like this Hyundai Ionic 6. And check out lectrium.com slash listings to explore EVs and plug-in hybrids for sale from dealerships near you.